Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, you're joining us on episode four of the great charity trip. We're trying to raise a thousand pounds for PTSD UK. So if you could afford a few quid to donate towards the charity, please click in the link in the description below and donate what you can afford. It literally at the moment, it's so humbling the amount of donations that are coming in is amazing. And all the YouTubers and people that have been involved in this and companies and all sorts, it's just overwhelming. So if you've got a few quid, let's get this total up and let's get the charity the money that they actually really need. So in this episode, there is going to be a challenge, a challenge that I'm going to open up at the end of the video to the vote, where you guys get to choose the actual winner. So let's crack on with this absolutely brilliant episode. Cue the intro. There you go, on the vision to the end of the world. I'm massively proud of it. I'm massively proud of what we're achieving and I'm massively proud of all these people that have been backing us. Thank you so much for your donations. Please keep them coming, it's really important to me. But you know what, taking that little 50 to the end of the world has just rocked my world. It's just absolutely awesome. And I just wanna say, if anybody's got PTSD, you never need to ride alone. We've got your back, we're there for you as well. Just remember the biking community. We always look after each other. So yeah, you've got support, you know, support all over. So never ever give up. Keep fighting the fight. Just keep doing it. Anyway, all I'm gonna turn around and say right now is, yes, we made it. We made it in style, helmet head style. So yeah, I'm so happy, so, so happy. Well, mate, I tell you what, that was a challenge. That was awesome. And we did it as a team as well. That's what I think is pretty cool. Yay! Yep, made it. This bit of sand feels like nothing now. <laughs> like, oh, that looks well wrote. Is that tyre? The, ac it, mate. the accidental tyre has done you well. I think accidental makes it like into the best episode ever, doesn't it? Yeah. Something random happens and you're like, yes. But no, I'm dead proud of that. I'm dead proud of this little vision. Little vision. What happened to the cat like the Karen, mate? They're supposed to be in there together. I didn't, I didn't feel, really want to ruin it too much. I feel... You wanted to leave it for me to be centre of attention? Yeah, I know you like being centre of attention. Yeah, I was feeling a bit too... Um, I'd become attached to Karen. I didn't really want to ruin her by driving her across there. Fair enough, isn't it? Fair enough. She's been a good girl, been a good girl, and I don't want to. Uh, it says doing wheelies. <laughs> and then I've got to ask you another question. Where's your pie, mate? I know. You're a bit disappointed. <laughs> I've got to get pie today to go in the pie hole. You want to borrow one of my pies? I want a warm pie. I want to eat the pie while I'm riding. That's been cooking now for like nearly two days. I bet they're still not even warm though. Yeah, it'll be roasted. That'll be like the best pie in the world. No, I'm going to get a nice warm pie and I want to ride along and I want no. to eat that pie. Great, we'll get it. Oh, here they are. Shall we go? Yeah. Right, so now what we're going to do is a challenge and a cool challenge. Now we have a nice kind of empty but still got the amazing loaf of bread that I can't even figure out how that's managed to stay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send off all the boys. We're all going to go. We're going to go to a shop around the corner and we're going to try and buy the most wackiest thing we can and put it in the basket. And then when we come back, we'll go through what we've got, and then what we'll do is we'll put it up to the vote and let you guys decide who's bought the most wackiest, silliest thing for the basket. Are you all ready? Ready. Yep. Yes, yes let's go. Ready, go.
gone out, we've all come back. So we'll start off with, I think we'll start off with Darren, uh, the sidekick, because I think that might look like it could be painful any second. Yeah. So you've bought, what have you bought? A, a, a net, a fishing net. Yeah, fishing at seaside. Uh, can catch crabs at the seaside, so I've been told. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> You're gonna catch crabs? No, I won't catch crabs. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. But anyway, you can go, you can go crabbing or get some fish, shark, maybe. Okay. Well, well that's yeah. one thing. So, Darren's is the fishing net. Um, that's Darren, so that's gonna go on the list to be voted for. Then we'll do uh, another hit, another hipster net. So, another hipster, you look like you've, uh, you've actually caught the fish by hand. I just thought, if this net doesn't work out, at least you've got a fish for dinner. And Very it reminds good. you of your seaside trip. And uh, it's not Nemo. The package has nothing to do with Nemo, but it does look a bit like him. So, so it's copyright free then, yeah? It's copyright free, yeah, like most of my YouTube audio. Fantastic. Uh, but I just thought if you don't have any luck with the net, at least you've still got a fish. Okay, so we've got a fish now, so we're going to add that to the list for the vote. And then let's do Mr. Hoppo himself. What did you get? Well, they say that bigger isn't always better, and in this case, it's a certainty. I've got a piece of shell to remind you of how much of a good time we've had on this trip on the course. So, this shell is going in your basket and it will be there forever. Fantastic. Isn't that nice? Well, I've obviously been out, and of course, I bought the best, and I know my loyal fans will definitely vote for me, but I bought the little dolly. The little pink dolly so she can see everything that we've seen and travel around the world. So there's my little contribution. So I've got the dolly, that's going in and the vote is going to go up live. So you guys get to pick who bought the silliest thing and then yeah, they are the winner. And what they're going to win is the best prize in the world, nothing. But anyway, it's going up, so vote away. So, now we're going to see Darren showing off his expert Karen that he made to basically be able to travel around the world. He put waffle boards on it, spade, and we're going to see how good he is at off-roading across the sand. It's going to be... I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad So do 
you feel now like a real outlander stroke four before stroke champion of the world? Adventurer, yeah, absolutely. And do you feel that it wasn't an epic fail at any point when you dropped the caron or didn't quite make it to the top? No, I feel a little bit guilty because I feel like I've just abused Karen a bit really, but that's what she was built for, so, so yeah, do you, you the reckon boards worked. If anybody wants to uh, buy these off me, no. It will do. No. You watch people will be coming running for these there. No. But yeah. now you've done this, Africa, mate. You've just proven you can go across the desert, Africa, yeah? I've got to get home first. Oh, yeah. After we get home, Africa. Yes. <laughs> So the psychic's got a pie holder and it's got no pie in. I mean, I've got two. What is the point of a pie holder? And to give me his dues, he's basically, every time we've been riding around, we're looking for a fish and chip shop that's open. And every place we go, they all seem to be closed and we're right next to the beach. But we had a moment, a second, as we glimpsed to the left as we were riding by and found one open. He pulled in like a nut. I almost come off my bike. There was literally no indication. He just went woof. So this is his moment, his very special moment. And here is the pie. Da -da. Oh, it's got no tray. It's got no tray. Oh no! <laughs> you can't go in the pie holder. He's ruined it. <laughs> you still He's not ruined the whole thing. <laughs> you still not gonna have pie in your pie holder. You can put it in. I can put it in. But you, you can't eat it oh. while you're riding. Well, you could try. It'd be, it'd be a funny video. Like I reckon we should just get... Oh, it. Stupid box! <laughs> well, dude, it's a positive channel, so Sorry. I think the best thing we should do is just... I've waited all weekend for the special moment to put my pie, <laughs> my pie in the pie holder. But if and we... And take the tray. If we're quick, right, we can get down the road and you can eat it, and you can have that whole experience that I did when I beat you in that race that time. You can relive thinking about me riding along eating pie, and relive that moment. I'm not, but I'm not going to be able to put it in the tray and rest it in there, am I? They've, they've stolen it from me now. Oh, bless you. Do you want a cuddle? No, let's just, let's just eat, let's eat pie and be happy. So just before about to move off, I get a message pop through from the person who lent me their bike to have a ride, the CB650F, and he said, I'm in Skeggy too. So he's going to meet us now, we're going to have a little bit of a ride and grab a beer. But, you know, how nice is that? Someone else popping up who wants to go for a like, meet up, a little bit of a cheeky beer. So we're just waiting for him to rock up now. We can go for that kind of like afternoon chill out time pint that we so desperately need. Oh, is this a good video? Yeah. Well, Simon's here, he's come all the way from Market Harbour just to go for a little bit of a ride, to see the vision, to see the Karen, grab a beer and have a catch-up. Are you excited? Absolutely. Yeah? 
You're looking forward to doing 25 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be able to handle it? Yeah, after cold coat. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Time to go for a pint and chill out. It's been a long, long day, but I'm just excited for a pint now. So, Psychic, if you could quit, and is this your new job? Well, Pizza I'm, delivery boy. I've run out of money. Do you mean you've run out of money? I've run out of money, so I'm having to uh, do a few little jobs to try and earn a few quid while we're here so I can get fuel, fuel money to get That's alright then. What, are you paying for the fuel to get home then, yeah? Well, is, this like, like, yeah. is this one of those ones where you get the app and they tell you to deliver? Yeah. Sweet, happy days. You carry on and pay for us to get home. Psychic! Yes! So is that how we're going to pay for the next adventure? You're going to go round and deliver pizza? So in the middle of the night, if I need a pizza, I just call Sidekick get me a pizza and you'll bring it. Well, you don't have to pay for it. I mean, I suppose you could start doing some uh, pizza deliveries. I feel quite important with this on, the, on there now. That's, yeah, no, I reckon you can earn a few quid. You could basically pay for our next trip and then if you need to then borrow the vision, you could then do pie delivery. Well, no, I'll be the pizza delivery man. You can be the pie delivery man. I'm a lord. I don't, I'm not a delivery man. They bring it to me. You mean it? Well, you're too good to... Uh... Too good for be, uh, to be a delivery boy. Well, yeah, I'm a lord. Pretty much, I get food delivered to me. So, I ring you, you bring the food, you deliver it, you make us money, you pay for the next adventure, and then you pay for me again. Well, to be fair, I think if you were left in charge of the delivery food, you'd probably eat it all anyway, wouldn't you? Let's yeah. face it, you'd, you'd get halfway there, stop, eat it, and then that would be it, be gone. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. I think, to be honest, you're right. I'd fail at it because I'd just eat it all. Well, we're going to call it a basically a day for today but something happened we realized when we got back we think that basically because i'd left the tent and obviously the brute i was well, like wearing at the time but obviously my scent was left on the sleeping bag women have come running around the world and trampled my tent because it's supposed to be round and when we came back it suddenly developed a point where someone has basically wrecked my tent so the psychic and hoppo went to work on it and this is my now my bed for the night before it goes in the bin tomorrow um so, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have a fantastic night's sleep, obviously quality, um, and I'm obviously not gonna to go to a hotel tonight. Hopefully will, but yeah. So that's the end of today, broken tent, but hey, somewhere to sleep.